Hey, what's going on, everybody? We're back with another word of the day. I know it's been a little while. I apologize, but one thing I'm not going to do is just get on here and tell y'all anything. I move by how God tells me to move. And this word blessed me. He gave me this word last night and it just blessed me. So I just wanted to share it with y'all. And it says, and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image and the image of God created he him male and female created he them. And what I want to focus on is just the image of God. When you think about the image, you think of a replication or you look in the mirror, you see the reflection. So we should be reflecting who God is, searching the scriptures, getting to know him, letting the Holy Spirit lead us to get to know his character. That's the only way we can truly see who we are. The word God gave me last night, God, show me who you are so I can see who I am. We should be trying to learn who God is. God is love. God is patient. The only way you can get to really know someone is you have to spend time with them. Just like we have friends, we get to know, oh, this friend is this way, this friend is that way. You start to learn how people are. It's the same thing goes with God. You're not going to know who he is if you don't spend any time with him. We hear people say all the time, oh, this is how I am. This is how I move. This is how I do this and that. But listen, God ain't made you no scammer. You were here for a purpose. Learn who God is and you will truly know who you are. God, show me who you are so that I may see who I am. God bless you.